I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey, hey, did you hear from the actor's home yet? They said there'd be a vacancy by New Year's. You know, I still say you're too young to go into a retirement home. Ah, uh, what do you know? Oh, well, it's my opinion. Does Tia make it to New York okay? Oh, yeah. She's already Christmas shopping. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. Well, you know, my wife, she likes to get it done before Hanukkah. Ah, oh, brother. I hate it when you go away. Oh, honey, I'm only gonna be gone for three days. Last time you said that, you were gone for five. Well, Becca, you know how it is with new jobs. I always want you to do all the dirty work. You've had enough new jobs to know. Look, when I get back, I promise we're gonna find a real apartment, okay? Will I have to change schools again? Well, just make sure that you don't. Okay, I gotta hit the road. Fine. I'll be back on Thanksgiving. Fine! Becca, don't be like that. She'll be okay. You have a good trip. Thank you. Gene Kelly was a short little guy. Are you gonna make a move or what? My eggs are getting cold. My wife is five foot six. He was taller than her. Bert, tell him, will you? Well, I think you're crazy. You've got a nice little house. But you don't need any more. Take his knife with your bishop. Roxy, how tall do you think Kelly was? Kelly who? I'm telling you. Before Singing in the Rain, he played the Munchkin in The Wizard of Oz. No, the Queen. Queen's a much better move, the Queen. Look, if you're tired of living in the sticks, forget the retirement home. Buy a place in town. Right. Me and the Rockefellers. Roxy, your Mrs. Santa Claus commercial ran again last night. ka <laughs> Anytime, dearie. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Oh, that... What's the name of the game? Checkmate! Son of a gun. How long has it been since you beat him? Just before Lincoln was assassinated. Thank God you were a better agent than you are a chess player. I am going Christmas shopping. Anybody want to come? You too? Me too what? Christmas shopping before Thanksgiving? I've got a batch of grandchildren to buy for. Okay, bye-bye, boys. Bye-bye. Be good. Heather, Becca, come on, girls. She said she's not hungry. I thought Marie would at least call. You try her cell phone? Yes, of course I tried her cell. There must be someone you could call. Do you try her office? George, it's Thanksgiving. My guess is she got held up, she's driving as fast as she can, and she's gonna walk through that door any minute. Can I help you? Are you Bertram O'Reilly? <laughs> Guilty as charged, sir. Hi, I'm Officer Lee. Mr. O'Reilly, your daughter's in St. Joseph's Hospital in Reseda. She was in a car accident. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, I got to go see her. You said St. Joe's, right? Yes, sir. OK. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. She's just sleeping, isn't she? I'm Dr. Bernie. Ah. She's been unconscious since she came in. She got a pretty hard knock on the head, which bruised the right side of her brain enough to cause some intracranial bleeding. And of course, that's what concerns me the most. But she's going to be OK, right? The next few days will tell us a lot. doing in L.A.? She lives here, Mr. O'Reilly. I'm Catherine Waters, ah. social services. 
But I thought she was living with her mother in San Francisco. Oh, my God. Has anybody called her? Your ex-wife has passed on. Brenda? Yeah. When? About three years ago, I believe. When is the last time you actually talked to Marie? Twelve years ago. Twelve, yeah. Then you don't know about your granddaughter. My what? You have a ten-year-old granddaughter. Her name is Rebecca. She's staying with friends from school. Uh, Marie is a salesperson for a camera company, so she travels a lot. It was the friend's parents that called the company after Thanksgiving when Marie didn't come home. This is how I located Rebecca. She mentioned you, which brings me to why I'm here. We need you to take temporary custody of Rebecca. It would only be until her mother can take care of her again. But what about her father? He's not in the picture. Which leaves you, Mr. O'Reilly. You're all she's got. Mr. O'Reilly, this is your granddaughter, Rebecca. Rebecca, this is your grandfather. Uh, it's, uh, nice to meet you, Rebecca. That's your favorite sweater, isn't it? Uh, how'd you know that? Where's the bathroom? Uh, to, to, to the dining room to the right. Oh, is this everything? You have to pick up the rest of her things from where she was staying. Uh, yes, I'm there. And there. And there? Mm-hmm. Uh, you think she's gonna hibernate in that bathroom? Oh, well, right now she's upset. Frightened. Angry. Angry? Angry about what? At her mom not being here. Uh -huh. At this being her fifth school change in three years at being taken away from her best friend and having to stay here with you, who she doesn't like very much. Doesn't like? She doesn't even know me. From what I gather, her opinion of you comes from her mother and grandmother. Well, then you're right. She doesn't like me very much. Chicken pepperoncini. You'll feel better if you eat something. Look, don't worry about your mom. She's going to be just fine. I, I know it. I'm not worried. All of you at home here for my first holiday special. Help me welcome from London, England, Sinjin Barrett. Thank you, thank you. Merry Christmas, Skip. Merry Christmas to you, Sandra. Thanks for being with us.
Uh, Dr. Bernie, this is Rebecca, Marie's daughter. Ah, oh, hello, Rebecca. Hi. Your mom's doing much better today. Is she gonna be all right? I think so. It's just gonna take some time, okay? You hang in there. Uh, can I talk to you outside for a minute, Doc? Of course. Doc, she's still unconscious. Only because we're keeping her that way. Why? I have her in a controlled coma to try and keep her brain from swelling. Your daughter is young, strong, and responding well to treatment, so I would say right now, her prognosis is pretty good. I guess you know what you're doing, Doc. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. Was here. Oh, I just don't want mom getting frazzled. Well, how can she get frazzled knowing I've been to see her? Why do you think she hasn't wanted to see you for the past 12 years? All right, Johnny, come on out. You're early for this, isn't it? Were you in this one? Yeah, I was the guy with the Tommy gun. Sal, I'm begging you. Please. Wow. Sorry, Johnny. You got old. Well, well, everybody worth. does. Nothing Do you twice. ever get the girl? Uh, <laughs> usually knock me off about 20 minutes in. But I nearly got the girl in that one. <laughs> it was a dumb story anyway. These pictures from your old movies? Uh-huh. Yep. I thought you wanted to be a song and dance man in musicals. I did. What happened? Well, this face happened. They took a look at it and they said, you're a heavy. <laughs> Grandma said it was because you couldn't dance a lick and you sang like a frog. Next time you want to get into my stuff, ask. Bing tough guy in movies who actually faints at the sight of blood. Who said that? Grandma! Hey. Look what my mom bought me. How many can you download? Thousands. This is way cool. Hi, Becca. Hi, Christine. You must be Becca's grandfather. Oh, yes, ma'am. 
Bert O'Reilly. It's nice to meet you, Bert. This is my husband, George. Hi. If you pop the trunk, I'll put these inside. Thanks. How's she doing? Oh, she's, she's better. Is it true that you've never met your granddaughter before? Uh, yep. Isn't it strange that you both live in the same city and have never met? Isn't it strange that you'd ask a question that is clearly none of your business? Can we go up in my room? Honey, we're having lunch with your grandma, remember? We gotta go. Not even for a minute. There isn't time, Heather. Well, maybe you could have a sleepover sometime? Now, that'll be fine. Awesome. Can I, Mom? We'll see. But, Mom... I said we'll see. And we again, Mr. Wiley, it was nice to meet you. Ma'am? George? Nice meeting you. I'll call you, okay? Good luck, Becca. my dad and me sitting on the porch one day and we had a great big thunder and lightning storm and boy was I scared stiff <laughs> and you know what my dad told me he said you know where thunder comes from it's clouds bumping heads mm. you didn't buy that huh neither did I <laughs> oh boy <laughs> uh, you want me to tell you where thunder comes from or would you like to hear a nice Welsh lullaby that my mother used to sing? Huh? Okay. Let me see if I remember. Sleep, my child, and peace attend thee all through the night. In thy slumbers close around thee all through the night. Here. Oh, Rebecca. Uh, Roxy used to sing on Broadway, you know. Did she tell you? Bert. Well, and she also had lead in a couple of shows. Uh, don't you have some place to go? Yes. <laughs> You're actually going someplace in that sweater? Why, what's wrong with it? You tell him. It's a bit worn out. Oh, but I like it that way. It's comfortable. So. Where are you going? I have to go register you in school. Wait, you're gonna have to drive me to school, right? That's right. Then why don't you just drive me to my old school? Ah, uh, because you see, it's in another district. Okay, see you later. <laughs> Bye. That's Carl. Besides being your grandfather's agent, he's his best friend. They go way back to when Bert first came to Hollywood. Then he must have known my grandma, Brenda. Yes, he did. Hmm. Enough with pictures of old folks. Tell me about your mom. What kind of work does she do? Well, she sells cameras, but she really wants to get paid for taking pictures. Is she a good photographer? She went to college for it. I know. Must be tough with her in the hospital, huh? She wouldn't be in the hospital if she had stayed home. Are you scared about starting a new school? I wouldn't be doing that either if she had just stayed home. A little mad at your mom, huh? Mm. 
I changed schools a bunch of times, and it always scared the heck out of me. I didn't make friends very easy. I don't make friends easily either. Somehow, I kind of knew that. I think I'll get a cup of coffee. Okay. Oh, here she is. Ashley, this is Mr. O'Reilly. Hello. Mr. O'Reilly has a granddaughter, Rebecca, who is starting here tomorrow. You'll be her buddy. Cool. Ashley will show Rebecca the ropes, get her fixed up with a locker, take her to Mr. Pedro's class, and you know, introduce her around. That's terrific. Ashley was in the same boat last year. Yeah. I'll see you in the office first thing in the morning. Yes, Mrs. Ortiz. Bye. Bye. We'll see Rebecca in the morning, then. Oh, oh that you will, ma'am. And thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Bye-bye now. Bye. <laughs> so you moved a lot, huh? A lot. When I was your age, because of all the moving, there was one special thing that I always wanted for Christmas. <laughs> Do you know what that was? My own chimney for Santa to come down. And you were 10? Well, Santa and the chimney were just a symbol. What it meant was that I was in a safe place where I wanted to be for a very long time. My grandma was a singer. I know. She used to sing to me. I miss that. Would you like for me to sing to you? OK. <laughs> Well, come on. <laughs> What about you? I bet some of those genes have been passed on to you. My grandma taught me a little bit, but <laughs> I've never sung for anyone before. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> what other carols do you like? Jingle bells. Come on, let's do it together. Okay. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun. <laughs> You're doing fine. <laughs> Come on, let's pick it up from the top, hmm? Okay. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. One horse open sleigh, o'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride. Very nice, very nice. Did you know this girl could sing like that? I did not. <laughs> oh, oh, you hear that? Hear what? A fat lady singing. Woohoo! Woohoo! Checkmate, you turkey! <laughs> And uh, this ain't checkers, you know. I know. You know how to move the pieces? I wrote a book once. Hey, move over, Carl. Let us sit there. <laughs> hey, uh, how about a wager? A what? Yeah, a bet. Well, I don't have any money. Well, you see that if I win, you don't get to slam the bedroom door for a whole week. Well, what if I win? Then I get to burn that thing you're wearing. Oh, no, 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 you can't burn that. That's his favorite sweater. Okay, then I get to bury it. It's a bet. <laughs> All right, now, look. I'll even turn this around and give you the white so you can make the first move. How's that? All right. All right. 
Okay, so these move straight ahead? Uh, yeah. Huh? Okay, now this can move straight ahead and then one to either side. No, that's the way a knight moves. You have a bishop there. They can only move diagonally. Right. Okay. Uh-huh. Looks better all the time. These can move any way they want? Yeah. to go back and study that book some more. <laughs> Do you hear that? What? It's the fat lady singing. Checkmate. A fool's mate? She cut you with a fool's mate? I don't believe it. <laughs> if you want, I can give you my book to study. <laughs> Cost me seven bucks. You got your money's worth? When are you gonna put up your Christmas tree? I don't do Christmas trees. Mom and I always have the prettiest one around anywhere. How old was my mom when you left Grandma? How did we go from Christmas trees to ancient history? Did you know it's evasive to answer a question with a question? And where did you possibly learn that? Dr. Phil? Do you know what evasive means? So? So what? So, how old was my mom when you left Grandma? I don't know, around two, I guess. Two and a half. Well, if you knew, why did you ask me? Why did you leave? Well, who said I left? Grandma. Oh. So, why did you? Well, you got all the answers. You tell me. Because you didn't want Mom. Who told you that? Grandma. Grandma. Hello. Ah, and a good yeah, day. Hey, here's a new Hi. Grandpa. Hey, yeah. What kept you? Don't ask. You know, I never knew that getting a 10-year-old girl off to school was like going to war. So did you get her there? Yeah, just. Hey, buddy, a little bit over to the left. Yeah. That's it. Who asked you? Thanks, buddy. Mm. How is Marie doing? Did Doc wake her up yet? Not yet. But they say she's stable, so we just have to wait. She's going to be OK, Marie. Adam's right about that. I hope so. Thank you, Adam. Doc, she tells us that Rebecca can sing. <laughs> Pretty damn good, in fact, huh? Yeah. When are Adam and I going to meet her? Oh, soon. Soon, I'm sure. Didn't want to feed her to the lions all at once, huh? Are you kidding? She'd have you for breakfast and gnaw on your bones between meals. Takes after her grandmother, huh? Her mother, too, I think. Doesn't matter who she takes after. You're getting a granddaughter for Christmas. She's getting a grandpa, and you should count yourself lucky. What, are you guys ganging up on me or something? Well, I'm... I'm not ganging up. How about you, I see? I think so. Carl? Mm-hmm. Jack? Did I say something I don't remember? Oh, good. <laughs> now I can order breakfast, right? Alex? Mm -hmm. My usual. Sure. So, your grandpa was a movie star? Um, not exactly. He wanted to sing and dance in musicals, but he was too ugly, so they made him a bad guy. Can you sing? A little. You should try for the Christmas pageant. It's a good way to meet a lot of kids. Hmm. You got your homework, OK? In my backpack. <laughs> See you in the morning. Thanks for doing my braids. Anytime. <laughs> Rebecca, the doctor just called. Your mother's awake. Is she okay? Is she coming home? No, but you'll be able to talk to her. Okay. Yeah. Is he here? Um, 
He didn't want to come in. That sounds like Bert. How are you doing with that money? It's not as bad as I thought. Mr. O'Reilly. Uh. Aren't you going in? Uh. Rebecca, I hate to break this up, but I'm gonna have to chase you out. She just got here. Your pain meds should be kicking in about now. Yeah, they are. And you really need to rest. I'm sorry, baby. It's okay. In a day or two, you can stay longer, okay? Sorry. Bye. I love you. I love you, honey. Bye. Thanks. She looks better, don't you think? A lot better than before. Yeah. You should have come in. Good. clothes and and this one seems to change color a little bit <laughs> you've got to be joking that blouse is my favorite well, well, it's pink it's a girl's color it's streaky pink what's wrong with that i wouldn't be seen dead in it well boy i, I guess we've got a problem because <laughs> all the rest of your whites are streaky pink too i can't believe this Sorry, I, I tried. Looks like you're gonna have to pony up and buy me some new clothes. Me? Buy girls' clothes? I don't see anyone else in the room. Hi. Hey! <laughs> I owe you big time, young lady. We're gonna have a great time spending your money. <laughs> right? Right. Just don't bring home anything that's streaky pink. <laughs> See ya. Careful. Bye. Mm. I like everything we got you, especially the shoes. Yeah, everything is way cool, especially the shoes. <laughs> Thanks, Roxy. Hey, it was fun. My school is having a Christmas pageant. You gonna be in it? You have to try out first. I think you should. I've never sung in public before. Ah, uh, you'll knock them dead. You think? I know. I was wondering, maybe you could help me pick out a song? Um, I mean, if I decide to do it. Sure, I'll help you with the song. <laughs> I think you should ask Bert, too. That is, if you decide to do it. Why won't he put up a Christmas tree? Who? Bert. Been that way ever since I've known him. Rebecca, breakfast is ready. Is that outfit your idea or Roxy's? Both. I'm being ganged up on. I forgot eggs. All right, then I'll just have a glass of milk, unless you forgot that, too. Madam, your milk. <laughs> and here's your bologna sandwich. You know, I like peanut butter and jelly. You're going to love bologna. <laughs> you know, the more I look at that outfit, the better I like it. It, it, it looks... Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> you know, Carl, she keeps asking me questions she already has answers to. Uh, maybe she's not so sure that she does. Ah, well, what do you mean? 
the answers that she has uh, came from somebody else. Now she's just double-checking with you. <laughs> Grandchildren are really different, huh, Carl? How so? Well, I look at her. A kid that I had nothing to do with creating, and yet I had everything to do with it. Gives you a sense of continuity. <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I gotta go pick up Becca. Well, we're in the middle of a chess game. So steady the board, and I'll be back in a few minutes. And don't you dare change anything on that board. Believe me, I'll know if you did. Uh, come on. Uh. It's great you're going to do it. Yeah, I hope I just don't freak out and bite it on stage. You'll be cool. What are you going to sing? I don't know yet. How about you? Me? In front of all those people? Are you crazy? I thought that you were um, going to... I help work with the lights and things. Oh. Catch you tomorrow. We'll trade lunches again. See ya. Bye. Hey, Bert. Testing you. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Uh. Mm, that's using the old noggin. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh. You've been grinning ever since I picked you up. Well, well what's going on? I'm going to try out for my school Christmas pageant. Singing? Well, duh. Excellent. When? This Friday after school. Well, that's not much time. Well, I asked Roxy if she'd help me pick out a song. Oh, great. That's great, <laughs> Roxy. I was wondering if maybe you'd help me, too. Once upon a time, your grandpa had an excellent singing voice. Grandma didn't think so. Well, <laughs> your grandma never saw all those wonderful musicals that he put on when he was teaching at Glendale College. You directed musicals? You didn't know that already? No. So, you'll help me? Maybe teach me a move or two? I'd love to. Awesome. <laughs> it's your move, Bert. Oh, um... Oh, yeah. It doesn't look good for you, Mr. Sugarman. <laughs> no, it never does. Never does. You got to sing, huh? Uh... <clears throat> Yeah, it took two of you to do it. I didn't say a word. Didn't say a word. What's that? You remember that show, Manhattan Lights? <laughs> All I remember is it closed after a week. <laughs> <laughs> this song is from that show. Hey, Roxy just found a fun song for you. <laughs> she thinks it'll show off your voice. What do you think? Give it a try. The lyrics are in the book there. Hey. Okay. See, there. I'll show you. Hmm? They say, why try? No way this can have a happy ending. <laughs> okay, now you try it. Huh? Okay, um, they say I try. No, no way, way this is, is a happy. <laughs> I'm confused. And don't worry about it. We'll work on it. Yeah, and in the interludes, you know, you can always do a little soft shoe. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Oh, I'll teach you. Grandma said that yeah, I can't dance a lick, I know. Don't believe everything you hear. You just have to sell it. Have a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, give it that old personality. <laughs> <laughs> you guys really think that I can do this? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Way this has a happy ending. They say turn back, walk away while you can. They say bad break, tough luck, your plan fell flat. But I say, hey, we'll see about that. If I put 
one foot in front of the other. I know I'll find me, I'm a long shot, who's gonna pay? Why can't they see it? They say, give in, get out, failure is looking at you. They say, give up, slink away while you can. They say, hapless, hopeless, your dream went flat, but I say, hey, we'll see about that. I'll make good, there's no doubt, cause I'm too dumb to give up and too young to give out. Let them say what they want to say. Johnson. Yeah, just call me Ed. Hey. Yeah, he danced in the movies, you know. But he was so bad that they made him a choreographer. <laughs> oh, get out of town. They did. And this is Mr. Jack Fast. He was the leading man on stage. Uh, uh, that is, when he was a handsome man. I was good looking? When was that? I forgot. <laughs> Remember that? The Roxy told us all about your audition. She said it was a smash. I don't know about that. <laughs> what are we going to hear? Oh, uh, sometime this morning. Huh? I, I knew we'd all be here, so I left word we we're gonna... Oh, I better go tell uh, Alex. You need any help with your dancing? I'm your guy. Yes, too. Um, Carl, now you've known Bert for a long time, right? Oh, yeah. Then maybe you could tell me why he won't put up a Christmas tree? Uh, well, um... I think it has something to do with the fact that it was Christmas Eve when he and your grandma separated. Oh. All I know is he hasn't put up a tree since then. Very nice. Well, all we got to do is wait for the call. And no matter what happens this time, I want you to know I am very proud of you. You bet. You had a lot of courage to do what you did. Tyner. <laughs> yeah, let me get him. Bert, Tom. <laughs> Talk about timing, huh? Wow. Here you go. Hello? Rebecca? I'm sorry. But you're in. <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, but you got a solo number. Hey! <laughs> you need any help with that dance? <laughs> a toast, a toast to Rebecca. Uh, yeah. To oh, Rebecca. Look at that yeah, dance. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-one twenty-five. Oh. Oh, here. Yeah. Here, you, you, you go ahead and I'll wait here. All right. Respiratory therapy to... Hi. Hi. Respiratory therapy to Where's Bert? Oh, he's just outside. Tell him to come in. She wants to see you. Me? You're looking... Terrible. I know. No, but you're here. That's what counts. 
guess I almost wasn't. Listen, I want to thank you. For what? For taking in my little girl. Hey, she's family. <laughs> Don't even go there, Bert. Oh, yeah. Well, uh... But I meant it when I said thank you. Oh, uh, she's going to be in a school Christmas pageant. You singing? Yeah. And dance. Well, that's great, honey. Look, I know she wants to tell you all about it, so I'll, I'll just go do, and I'll be back in a bit. So listen, I want you to tell me everything that's going on. Okay. I'm afraid the brain bleed has caused some motor nerve damage. Oh, what does that mean? She's trouble using her left leg, and her balance is a bit unsteady. Will that be permanent? Well, we'll know more when she gets into therapy, but... She's going to need some help when she leaves here. That's wonderful. Your grandma will be so proud of you. The show's on Christmas Eve. Do you think you'll be able to come? Dressed in silver bells. I couldn't have done it without Bert. No. He's really not a bad man, like you and Grandma said. Just be careful, honey. You said that before. What do you mean? Well, he wasn't there for your grandma and me when we needed him the most. Are you ever going to say anything to Marie? Now what? Ah, oh, come on. You know what I'm talking about. All Marie knows is what Brenda told her, which in turn has been passed down to Becca. Don't you think it's about time you broke the chain with a little truth? I can't, Carl. That'd be like stomping on her mother's grave. But well, what are you going to do? When Marie gets out of the hospital. I don't know. I just don't know. I gotta get going. Where are you off to? It's a surprise. It's open. Come on, we're going someplace. I can't. I've got homework. Oh. So you don't want a Christmas tree, huh? I haven't got room on my dresser. Huh. Well, I'm talking about a big one here. Big enough to go right up to the living room ceiling. I get to pick? Absolutely. Awesome. <laughs> you sure you like this tree, huh? Kind of like the one I picked out. It was fuller. No, it was scrawny. Besides, you said I get to pick. You see it on top of the car, don't you? Thank you. <laughs> Say, um, have you given any thought of what you'd like for Christmas? I don't know yet. Well, you better start thinking about it, young lady. <laughs> hey, how about a tree decorating party? Cool. Huh? We'll invite uh, Roxy and Carl, everybody. Ashley could sleep over and maybe Heather. <laughs> Have you talked to her yet? She's never home when I call. Oh. Huh. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you can invite the Queen of England if you like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Blanche the carrots. What the heck does that mean? No, I'm, uh, I'm getting ready to wash a horse. Of course I'm cooking. Cool. I get to eat something that hasn't been frozen before. Don't get sassy with me. <laughs> oh, Roxy and Carla are coming, too. Oh, and Ashley can come to the party. Oh, good. Uh, did you get a hold of Heather? No, but I'll keep on trying. Oh, Rebecca. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Your own solo. Cool, man. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa. See what I got for your mom? Cool. Can we bring it to her right now? Well, I'm afraid she'd be sleeping right now. Well, what about tomorrow morning? Hey, good idea. All right, we'll do it. I'll leave it right here. Cool. Okay? <laughs> night, night. Good night.
Now, now listen, you and your mom need a little one-on-one, -on -one, so uh, you go ahead in. Don't you want to I'll, I'll wait for you in the lobby, okay? All right. right. <laughs> wow, is that for me? That is beautiful. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Bert picked it out. Sounds like you two are really hitting it off. Most of the time. Oh, I talked to Sally this morning. San Francisco, Sally? That's the one. She said as soon as I get out of here that we can go up and bunk with her till I get on my feet. Move back to San Francisco? Yeah. What do you think about that? We've got lots of friends up there. What if I don't want to go back? Well, then, Becca, I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll just stay with Bert. That is not going to happen. But I'm not going back. I told you to be careful of him. And you told me that he was never there for you when you needed him, but he's been there for me. Becca. Hi, it's Becca. Heather, please call me back. I want to invite you to our tree trimming party. Mom, I want to go. Heather, I already said no. But, Mom... Her grandfather was rude to your mom, honey. Don't I get a vote in this? No. But she's my best friend. And when Marie is feeling better, you'll see her. Until then, you can keep yourself busy by helping me set the table. Heather! Sounds like it'd be fun. You gotta come! Mom won't let me. Why? What did you say to Heather's mom? What are you talking about? Heather can't come over tonight because you were rude to her mom. Thanks, Bert! Thanks a lot! Ma'am, we've got to talk. Icicles. Have we got any of those old-fashioned icicles? Bert's out getting them right now. Oh. Uh, here. You need a big one up there. Got more ornaments here than the tree in Central Park. Bert doesn't need to go out and get more. He doesn't know from enough. I got it! Hey! Hi. Hi, Mom. This is Ashley. Hi. Oh, hello. hello. Oh, hi, hi, Ashley. Come on, we'll put your bag in my room. Anybody want any eggnog? Nothing in it but egg and nog. And a little nutmeg on the top? I'd love one. Yeah, me okay. too, me too. Did you get the icicles? Uh, they were out of everything. Great tree, great tree. Oh, yeah. Rebecca herself picked it out. <laughs> Rebecca, come and see who came to see you. Heather, you came! Yeah! <laughs> Come on, Your grandfather is very persuasive. And Ashley went to get ornaments, eh? So, sue me. <laughs> uh, how about an eggnog, huh? Oh, no. no you no, have no. to, please. Here we go. Yeah. Come on. Sure. Here. Thank you, Roxy. Here we go right uh, now. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hey, fellas, let me help you with that tree. Come on, everybody.
Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Thy leaves are so unchanging. Not only green when summer is here, but also when it's cold and drear. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, you fill our hearts with gaiety. Hey, hey, bravo! bravo. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you again. Terrific. Sure was. Thanks for the help, huh? I'll see you for breakfast, huh? Right. See you tomorrow. Lee Nelson. All right. All right. See you Pretty tree, huh? I wouldn't have any other. <laughs> Thank you, Bert. You're welcome, Rebecca. <laughs> Your face isn't ugly. Oh? It's just... lived in. <laughs> I know what I want for Christmas, too. What? My own chimney for Santa to come down. And, and Ashley went over to uh, Heather's place for the weekend. <laughs> Those three, they're like the three musketeers. <laughs> Boy, she, she really misses you, Marie. She sure does. When you get out of here, why don't you come stay at my house until you get back on your feet, you know? And that way, Becca won't have to change schools because she really likes it where she's at. And you, why, well, you can go back to your art and then start taking pictures again. I don't know, Bert. I just don't want Becca to miss out on what you missed out on. That's all I want. Don't you guys hear the colorful women out there? We knew it 
wasn't for us. I'm coming, I'm coming, huh? Hello? Mr. O'Reilly? It's Mrs. Ortiz from the school. Oh, yes, Mrs. Ortiz. What can I do for you? I'm afraid that Mrs. Casterline, our director for the Christmas show, has had to go up to Oregon on family matters. Oh, well, I hope everything's okay. Well, you're not going to cancel the show, are you, ma'am? No, no. Now, from what I hear from Becca, you were a terrific song and dance man. Who said that? Rebecca? She also tells me that you directed a lot of musicals when you talked. Oh. <laughs> la, 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 la. Uh, well, who was it? Yeah, who was it? Don't play innocent with me. Okay, so we knew, but not until Becca told us about a half hour ago. Uh-huh. Did you say yes or no? It gives you a chance to direct Becca. I'll do it only if the gang pitches in. Roxy, that means you on music. Oh, how can I say no? Awesome. Well, I'll negotiate. And Adam has already agreed to help us with the choreography. Well, then... I guess I'm your new director. Sweet. Yes. <laughs> Do I still get my solo? Well, duh. Grandpa, your aces. <laughs> <laughs> Creek don't rise. This show will be ready in three days. Thanks for letting me know. Well, you were just a floor away, you know. Are there any news? No, not yet. Uh, hi, I'm Roxy, friend of your dad. Hi. Where's Becca? Uh, oh, she ran to get a soda and a snack at the vending machine. Thank you. He's doing okay. They did an angiogram and found blockage of two of the coronary arteries. Mm. What they're doing now is an angioplasty that will open the blockage and leave a mesh stent behind to keep them open. They've done thousands of these before, so he's in good hands. I'll come out as soon as they're done, okay? Thank you, doctor. Hey. Uh, I'll go find Becca. You want a coffee? Sure. Your dad 
worships you, you know. He has since you were a little baby. Well, he had a funny way of showing it. Marie, anybody ever tell you how uh, he and Brenda split up? Well, yeah, he walked out on Mom. Well, they were working in a dinner theater. You were about two years old at this time. Anyway, there was this director, Russell. He had his eye on your Mom. And he fired Bert from the company. So what are you saying? Your mom was 20 years younger than Bert. She wanted to be a star. Russell said he'd make her one. That's what she wanted to hear. So she took you and left with Russell on Christmas Eve. Well, he kept you guys around for about a year. And then he split. She tried to get back together with Bert, but he had his heart broken once, and he wasn't going to let it happen again. She got damn mad, and that's when she took you and moved to San Francisco. Wait a minute. My, my mom never said anything about a guy named Russell. Well, I'm sure she didn't. You know, Carl, she worked damn hard to raise me without any help from Bert, even when we really needed him. Well, when was that? Well, like when we asked him to help pay for my college tuition, and he refused. Mm -hmm. Bert paid for everything. Everything. He and I sat in the balcony at your graduation. Grandpa gonna be okay? He's gonna be fine. Oh, good. He's gonna be in recovery for a while, so I suggest you come back first thing in the morning, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll need to check you out of here, but I'll want to see you in my office tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. All right, sleepyhead. Let's go. Where are we going? Well, for now, we're gonna go to Bert's. Will you chill out? Carl and I can handle the pageant without you. Oh, I worry about it. Bert, you got everything ready to go. All we gotta do is watch. You just uh, stay here and rest. Uh, I got a choice? Uh, we have to go. Hey, don't get up. I mean it. Get some rest. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, hi. God help you, he's all yours. Oh, come in, come in. Where's Becca? She's having a play date with the other musketeers. Uh, how's your leg? Uh, it's okay. I'm starting therapy tomorrow, so. And you're driving okay? Well, you don't need your left leg for that. How about you? What'd the doc say? Oh, no damage to the heart, thanks to Becca. <laughs> I just gotta stay here a couple of days for observation. So you're gonna miss the pageant? Oh, the gang will take care of that. <laughs> Nobody will notice that I'm not there. <laughs> What's wrong, Marie? Carl told me some things about Mom. Some really rotten things. Oh, brother. He's my best friend. Expect him to say some nice things. Marie, your mother and I were at war in 
and you were caught in the middle. So if it's true, then why didn't you fight for me? I did. I did for a long time. And then... just the way you wanted. But what about Becca Solo? Did Roxy go through it with her again? Oh, yeah, yeah, she did. Now, listen, everything is under control. You just relax and you get well, and we'll send you the video. Don't ask. Don't hang up on me. Don't answer. Hello. Come on, you idiot. Pick it up. Send me a video. <laughs> I don't want to see a video. Yes! Adam! Oh, oh my, all right. Places, places, everyone, everyone, places, come on, let's go. Please give a big hand for our pianist, Roxanne River. Ladies and gentlemen, Sugarman O'Reilly Productions presents a Christmas extravaganza. What is this? A floor <laughs> nurse said you're checking yourself out. You're right, ma'am. <laughs> this is not very wise, Mr. O'Reilly. Well, you know, Doc, you get to be my age. <laughs> Sometimes the wisest thing to do is not the right thing to do. Eh, this may not be good for my heart, but my granddaughter's performing tonight, and if I miss it, it'll break my heart. all dry and, and your stomach's all queasy like and your knees are trembling oh 
always you got a little stage fright. I do? Yeah. Oh, your grandma used to get it all the time. She did? Yeah. <laughs> you know what she used to do? She'd close her eyes and imagine that everyone in the audience was her friend just waiting to hear her sing. <laughs> now you go out and do the same. Yeah. I love you, Grandpa. <laughs> I love you too, Becca. Go, Becca. Go get him. Drifting in the sky, I gotta sing a Christmas song. When I'm anywhere near a round bearded guy, I gotta sing a Christmas song. Something way down deep begins to tingle, and suddenly I'm hearing bells go jingle. And I'm tapping my toes to a drummer boy While I croon a Christmas melody I'm singing of hope and eternal joy A world in perfect harmony I don't care if it's December or the winter is long gone The smell of fruitcake and I swear I feel a song coming on And the feeling is still going strong That's why I gotta sing a Christmas song Ever see so many presents under a tree? I think you've been helping Santa. <laughs> elves. Uh, maybe it was the elves. Mm. Didn't you represent them? Oh, no, just Santa. But I danced with them. Nice little fellas. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. There you are. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful night. Yes, it is. Oh. What you thinking? How hard would it be to turn the attic into another bedroom? 
Are you really serious? Well, I know it wouldn't be easy, but we have so much catching up to do. That is, if you, if you want us. Want you? I've wanted you all my life. I love you. Tiny.